No, it's working. Sorry. I forgot I turned, I turned I forgot to turn the camera on. Hi everybody, it's me and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday. And today in this video I'm gonna do a We Are Knitters review. So my sister got me two We Are Knitters kits for Christmas. And um today's We Are Knitters review is gonna be on the We Are Knitters dog sweater, and this is the intermediate. So it's a so you can make like a they have like a little um kit to make your dog they sent me the kit like the needles my sister got it for me for christmas and stuff um to be fairly honest i had a really difficult time with this because i think it's because the gauge checking was a little off or something i tried to make this it's a really tiny dog sweater it probably could fit a yorkie i tried to make this for my sister's um my sister's um um, dog Daisy, who you guys all know, Daisy has been on my YouTube channel quite a lot. Um, but unfortunately, it turned out to way too small, unfortunately, apparently. So I don't know what it, I think what happened was I must have, my engagement checking must have been off. And I must have gotten confused of where I was at in the rows, so it was a little bit difficult and stuff so i'm not used to knitting sweaters i'm not a very good sweater knitter obviously so a lot of you got me well i did do that cardigan which you guys saw a few months back on youtube but unfortunately i'm not very good at dog sweaters because i have a really hard time with my gaze checking i really need to work on practicing my gauge and my tension and stuff like that so I have a really hard time checking my gauge. So I think the reason why this turned out small, a lot smaller than I expected, because I did the wrong calculations of my gauge. So I still need to work on that. If you guys knit and have any tips of calculating the gauge, please be sure to let me know. And then I can figure out what I'm missing and stuff like that, because this is something I'm still practicing and I'm still working on, because I have a terrible time um, doing my gauge checking. So I may need a little help with that and stuff and if you guys have knitted the this dog sweater please let me know down in the comments below how your sweater turned out because mine just turned out way too tiny unfortunately i tried it on my dog gabby but it was but the neck was too small for her so i think i'm going to try to give it to my brother and see if it'll fit his new puppy b and she puppy because it might fit her because she's really small and stuff the only downfall of the neck opening is way too tight if you can see so yeah i had a little bit of a hard time with this but and again, I do like challenging projects, but this time I made it without getting frustrated and crying because like, for those who don't know, if I get frustrated with something, I will start crying and throw whatever is frustrating me either across the room or into the garbage because that's how frustrated I get because I have a hard time controlling my frustrations and stuff. And my boiling point, when I reach my boiling point, this is something I'm kind of like working on with myself is controlling my boiling point. But I did attempt to do this without getting frustrated and controlling my boiling point, but I man point and stuff and I managed to just stay calm and just try it and stuff and it, at least I gave it a try. It, I'm Again, I'm not perfect at knitting even though I try to be. I'm not perfect, but I do like to give things a solid try before I find I reach my boiling, boiling point and stuff and I notice that if I start over too many times I just get frustrated to the point where I start crying because I don't know how to take a break from something and just walk away because I hate giving up so easily because that was something I used to do when I was a little kid is I would give up so easily on things that would frustrate me. Right, me, but I just kept trying and trying, but I managed to try to make it work and stuff like that. But it's not bad for my first dog sweater. I haven't made a dog sweater in so long, so I think that's why it turned out so small is because I haven't made a dog sweater in like, so and like so long and stuff but still this was pretty fun to make the only hard thing it was the gauge and the calculations and stuff so i would definitely suggest this for anybody who's an intermediate knitter and they have a dog and they want to knit a sweater because this makes a really cute addition to your dog i don't suggest this for beginners because there's a lot of gauge checking math and tensions and stitches you need to know so if you're a beginner definitely i suggest not to try this because it is definitely really hard. If you're an inter advanced knitter, definitely try this project, but don't do it if you're a beginner because it's got a lot of gauge checking, math and stuff. So I would suggest more like a scarf. And we are knitters, for those who don't know, have a ton of beginner, great beginner projects for if you're a beginner knitter. knitter. So I suggest check out any of those and stuff. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!